Hello guys, what's up? It's Sasi Farrakhan. So, the Panasonic S5 Mark II is releasing very soon, and there are bunch of videos. If you just have a videographer's mindset, that means you are a movie maker, short film maker, but on a tight budget, then can you consider this? over the Sony A7 Mark IV which is an awesomely awesome camera but the price point is little bit higher than this so first of all it gives you 24 megapixel and that is 33-34 megapixel but 24 megapixel is quite enough not quite is perfect you can say for videography both of them have full frame sensor Sony has a little bit not a little bit a very high amount of lens on their slam but panasonic does not but for videography you're gonna need two to three lens and panasonic is offering that to you so i think that will not be a huge issue and on part of videography specification here is the real part panasonic s5 mark ii is giving you 6k 30p 4K 60p. Now the 6K 30p is kind of a real deal here because you can downscale for them who are short film makers. For them, a quality is little bit a uh, very important thing. So 6K 30p can be a game changer for them, and autofocus system is not of a great deal for them. So for them, maybe. The Panasonic's videography qualification or a specification configuration is quite better than the Sony 7 Mark IV. And the last but not the least and the most important is the price point. The Panasonic S5 Mark II has a price point of 1499. It may increase to 1699 on the upper hand. Okay. And the Sony A7 Mark IV starts from 2399. Just imagine that. If you compare $1,700 to $2,400, you are having $700 in your pocket to buy extra accessories. Just understand that. So, if and only if you are a videographer short filmmaker on a tight budget then i think you should consider to buy the panasonic s5 mark ii because it is giving you every single thing you gonna need and you will be satisfied 100 percent with this if and only if you are a photographer no 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 videographer guys. sorry for that and that's basically all i have to say here in this particular video let me know your valuable opinion about this topic panasonic s5 mark ii versus the panasonic sony sorry sony a7 mark IV. a videographer's perspective goodbye guys have a nice day see you soon